we can do any of the uh, other Daedric Prince quests. I don't think so. I think we've done all the ones that we can do. Okay, did I get my repair hammers back? No. Okay, uh... Hmm. Just throwing in all the clothes for now, because I know most of the armors I want to make sure that I have. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Okay, does that change anything? No. Did I not grab the repair hammers then? Did I just think I grabbed them? Why is there a random emerald in there? I'll get rid of those. I'll get rid of these. We're just going to sell a bunch of the empty ones. I probably was thinking of keeping the empty ones so that when we get Soul Trap, we could just be able to use that. But nah. I think we should just be fine with whatever we're doing with it. So it should be fine. Although, I would definitely recommend keeping empty ones, though. Unless you have a way of... Uh, or unless you don't have a way of like removing them from your inventory like I do. Then it depends on like what you're going what you're gonna need them for. Yeah, I think that should be everything I think. Oh man, there's like a ton of vampire dust in there. Oh boy, we can get a huge payday. If we just throw stuff in there. Oh yeah, this stuff, yeah. Yeah, I found out later on, though, that, like, it's very rare to actually get it to kick in. I think during one of the side playthroughs, I think, I think it's, like, the cat or whatever. I think I tried to go for it, but it just never kicked in. So I lost. Ah, there it is. There's the repair hammer. So I did have repair hammers. Okay. I was thinking that I did, but I was like, no, because then, like, it should have popped up here. Like, what a weird thing. It's just not popping up. There it is. Okay. Keep clicking a different button thinking it's inventory, but it's not. I did that when I was playtesting the mod, uh, the mod too. I'm clicking, like, uh, I thinking that it's inventory because I'm so used to a different game now because that's, that's what I've been doing when I can't record is I've just been playing a different game. And I've gotten so used to it, and I think also Minecraft Eye is inventory as well. I think Eye is inventory, I might be wrong. Or maybe that's the default, but I change it all the time. There's a ton of items, alright. Let's just do this the keyboard way then, just because so it it's faster for me. Now, normally my armor skill would go up, but... But that is one of the best methods. Oh, it's so close to getting the entire inventory to be fully repaired too, but eh, it's fine. So the best way to actually go and increase your armor skill is doing exactly what I do. Pick up every little item. Actually, do it like I do it on the... Was it the PlayStation or the Xbox? I can't remember which one. But uh, what I used to do on the, on the console version, pretty much, is how I'm going to phrase it now, uh, is that I would pick up every single item that an enemy... I, I, first of all, I would look at the enemy's weapon that they either drop because they had it out at that moment, or uh, look inside their inventory, find out if their item is damaged, put it into my character's inventory, repair it, and then drop it. This is the, one of the best methods of doing, of increasing it. And if you have it as your major skill, you get like bonus experience for it. Now, unfortunately. I didn't know about Oblivion's leveling issue or leveling problem, but now that I am, I can actually definitely agree though that like now that I know about it, it's like ugh, it's very weird. Uh, I've only ever played Oblivion in I think, I, no, I think when I first played it, I put on the easiest difficulty because then back then I wasn't really like. 
I don't want to say confident, it's more so that, like, I wasn't really too big on playing those kinds of games. I was more so, again, used to playing Pokemon and stuff like that, so I... I think that was, like, the most games I ever played was the Pokemon games, so... Yeah, so I was playing on the easy difficulty for the longest time, then once I got it on the computer, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go bump up the difficulty to, to the medium one, and then I was... Was I getting my butt kicked every 10 seconds? Absolutely, because I was not used to the harder difficulty. So meanwhile, I'm so used to like going on the easy difficulty and going like, bah, I can go into this fight no problem with like no little to no equipment. And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> the difficulty was very hard. <laughs> and okay, so before... Uh, so before I get uh, before I get distracted again and talk about something else, uh, the reason why I don't go with the hardest difficulty when I have the armor equipped is because how long is the video going to be? The video is going to be much longer. So and and I don't typically like to record for too very uh, for very long. So for difficulty reasons, I put it the medium at most. Uh, at most, I could probably put it like seventy five percent, maybe so close to max, but not too close. But yeah, but can you survive on the hardest difficulty with uh, with my armor? Absolutely. I have done it. And not to say that I was, like, I was shocked by uh, the fact that I could do it. I was more so just, like, like shocked that, like, so, like, some creatures can even keep up with me kind of thing. There's wrist irons. I want to keep those. Those are pretty difficult to get a hold of. But believe me, they are actually very difficult. These are all have no souls, so they should give me a decent amount of money. Uh, I've also found out that depending on how many items you are selling, the time it takes for it to do it, it like varies. I've noticed that when I was uh, showing off uh, something, I can't remember what it was. But when I was uh, showing off, I think it was, it wasn't, it wasn't, was it Heart of the Dead? No, because Heart of the Dead, I did it off screen. But I was the one before that, which I think was Ivalon. Because let's see, the first one was Blade Song, second was Lost Spires. Or no, sorry, the first one was Knights and Nine Revelations. Then it was, no, wait. No, I think I'm confusing myself now. Mixing up some potions. You look like quite the alchemist. Am I the alchemist? In this way. What is my alchemy? 90. How did my alchemy get that high? I don't remember maxing out my alchemy though. Okay, so he picked up the items. Okay, let's see here. Did he. Ooh, 83k. There's no way that that's 83k. There is no way that is 80. That all those items are 83k, man. I'd say at most it would be about 200. Uh, at the very least, it would be like about 150k. There's no way that that's 83k. If it's 83k, then then I do not understand the values of like all my items. Then nope, still nothing. Okay, so I'll just wait another like five oblivion days, and then we'll see if that changes anything. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go pick it up. Let me go pick up the. Uh, the wiki for the Daedric Shrines, so I know which ones that I can st uh, that I can do. So I'm level nineteen right now. Hello. Oh, I can do here scene. I don't think I've done here scenes yet. I'm just gonna wait till he goes to the chest though, because I don't know if how his uh, script works. I don't know if he actually has to interact with the chest before. 
So we can also do Molag Ball. I don't think we did that one just yet. No, wait, we did do that one, didn't we? No, it was Malakath, I think. Never mind. Uh, Befalas we did. So yeah, so we can do some of them. I know there's one of them that I want to wait until I can, uh... I want to wait until, like, uh, we can use the armor for it, because then that'll just make it m much easier. Actually, technically I can do it now. Hmm. Yeah, I might do that. Now, now that I know that I have done enough to use the armor. I mean, I did use the armor, but I only used it as a test to make sure that it's not broken. Because when I made my test character, my character was jumping around. See, that's that's more like almost 400k, bro. See, and that's how you get gold. Make sure you have a, a mod that gives you a storage thing where you can contain items and just keep throwing items in there and then forgetting about it. <laughs> it's pretty much how I do it. Uh, let's see here. So we can do more like Ball. It says that it's west of Imperial City. Did I do that one by any chance? No, that's Clavicus Vile. That's not even the one. Well, I mean, I can do that one but eh, not really my not really what you should be doing uh or not really what i should be doing should say uh nope okay so let's not worry about that one too much then i think here seems like right over here i think Uh, let's see here. Actually, you can get it from Antus Vanon. Tells you about it. So let's go do that then. I think his house is here though, right? Arcadia, Antus Vanon. Okay, yeah, so he's over there. So he's out and about. He's walking around. Probably. I don't know. But if he's out walking around, then he would most likely be in the market district, because that's usually where I find him. Oh, Antus Vanon. There he is. There's the boy. Antus Vanon. Retired. Sleep late and read trashy books. I don't keep up with the Mage's Guild affairs anymore. That's good. So Argonians get this hist stuff from licking hist trees, and the Blackwood Company got bad hist. That okay, I spent 40 years at the Arcane University. Good years, but I don't miss it. Now I'm completely... Oh. I'm done talking to you. Okay, well, hmm. Just wanted to check something. Oh, no. I think I just made the game crash again. <laughs> Alright, so I accidentally caused that crash. My bad. Then again, the game was running for a little bit, so I'm not surprised that it did actually end up crashing like that. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to get the Mesa Molek Ball. Which is the Molek Ball one. I'm trying to figure out where the shrine is, since it won't give it to me. Oh, this one. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, can I find the, can I get the, the map of it? I need to just get a brief idea of where it is. Okay, that's not going to help. <laughs> a little further back. Okay, so it's Kinrit's Grotto. So Kinrit's Grotto is about right over here. Shrine of Kinrit. Yeah, so it's about right over here then.
If I had a horse, I'd be able to get there faster. But we don't have a horse. But we do have two companions. Which I'll have to keep on checking cat's inventory here and there. Actually, I could download... I could download a mod or I'll just make one that'll allow me to give her an item that'll allow her to repair her equipment. Or that will repair her current equipment or something like that. Or I'll find one out for that. Just because uh, Tess's character sort of scripting allows her to constantly repair her equipment. And technically recharge it, I think, as well. Which is a part of the OBSC scripting that she has. Which, as far as I am aware of, of her entire scripting, that is the only thing that she has that requires OBSC. Okay, so I don't... So if I can find the Shrine of Kinrith again, which I think is this one... Make sure not to eat nightshade. Okay. That's interesting. What? Uh, rumors. Nibane is bordered on. Yeah, you're. N you guys don't really help uh. me very much. Hello, Kinnereth. I've come to give you. Oh, that was kind of weird. I thought those were like birds on top of the 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 rock there. I was like, wow, How this area I is beautiful. It's got random birds up here. It's the. Excellent. It's the end of the blade. <laughs> it's the end of the hilt of the blade, man. So we're at the shrine. So we gotta head toward over here then. Oh wait, uh if I remember correctly, this one requires somebody to hit me. Which is gonna be very hurtful for these two, because they're going to start killing that person. So I might just leave them at the shrine for now, I think. I think that's about the best that I can end up doing for the game, to be fair.